Hi, this is Simon Obstel, and welcome to another tutorial for Motion 5. And today we're going to be looking at the technique for mapping an image onto a 3D cylinder like this. And I'm going to take you through this, explaining the maths of how it all works so you can adapt this to your own dimensions. OK, so the first thing we need to do is we need to import our image. So I'm going to import this splendid looking chap come over to properties and what I want to do is obviously I want to get it to fill the width of the screen so I'm just simply going to scale him up like that and I'm going to bring him down on Y like that. Now if you want to move the X position for any reason so you've, you've gone in a little bit larger don't use this one here use the anchor point instead because we want to keep this X position clean for the purposes of creating our slices. OK, so I'm in a 1920 1080 project. So in other words, I've got 1920 pixels across. And what I want to do is I want to make a cylinder that has got 20 sides. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this group and I'm going to turn on fixed resolution and I'm going to set the width to 96. So why 96? So 96 is... 1920 divided by 20. In other words, the full width of my frame sliced into 20 segments gives us 96. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this image to create 20 slices. And I'm going to do that using a ramp behavior on this X position. So that's why we didn't want to touch that value. OK, so add parameter behavior ramp. And I'm going to set a start value of negative 912 and an end value of positive 912. So what that does is it slides the image all the way from one side to the other across the duration of that ramp. So you're going to ask, why did I choose 912 as my value here? Well, I'm going to show you exactly why by adding a color solid and I'll just move it behind there. And I'm going to set its width to 96. So again, let's look at our numbers. So half of 1920, 1920 divided by two is obviously 960. So what happens if we enter 960 instead for our value there? You'll see we're not getting the entire width of this edge slice here. And that's because we need to add back in half of 96. So half of 96 is obviously 48 and 960 minus 48 is 912. And that's how, that's where we get our value from. So minus 912 and we're getting our full slice. OK, let's remove that color solid. We don't need that. So now we need to take our entire group and we need to come to frame 20. Now you'll see that I've got my numbering starting at one and make this makes it easier. So come to frame 20 and hit O on the keyboard and that shortens everything down to be 20 frames long. If your frame numbering starts at zero, you'll need to come to frame 19 instead because we want 20 slices in all. OK, so having done that, we're going to make a clone of this group. So make clone layer and we'll turn the group off. So now we're going to make a replicator out of that clone. So object replicate. We're going to turn on the 3D switch. We're going to select sphere from the shape. We're going to set the number of columns to 20 because that's the number of slices we want. And the rows and ranks will set to one. We need to set the arrangement to outline. We need to turn on align angle. And down here, we will need to turn off play frames and we need to set the source frame offset to one. And then all we need to do is adjust our radius. So I'm going to go for 300. And now we've got our cylinder. So let's move this away so we can see and then rotate it. And you can see our splendid fellow is mapped to our cylinder. So let's add a camera and I want to do this the wrong way so you can see what happens if 
we are not careful. So add a camera, switch to 3D, and everything goes hopelessly wrong. And that's because we need to switch our original group back to 2D. So turn that into a 2D group so it's not affected. And we're good again. So now we can move our camera around and we can add, let's add a lighting setup. Uh, let's add diagonal left. And there we go. Now you'll probably see that we haven't got enough slices here. 20 is, is not really enough. So what if we wanted more slices? Well, it's actually surprisingly easy to do. Supposing we wanted 40 slices instead. We take our group here and remember we shortened it down to 20 frames. We're going to make it 40 frames instead. So come to 40 frames on the timeline. With the group selected, hit O. and That's made that 40 frames long. We're going to just reduce the width of that slice because obviously we want double the number of slices, half the width. So half of 96, I'm sure you know, is 48. And then all we need to do is come to the replicator and double the number of columns. So 20 becomes 40. And there we are, we've got 40 slices instead. So as you can see, it's very easy to adapt this once you've understood the numbers. So I hope that was useful. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Hope to see you again another time.